Hello. Today I'm doing another backpacking trip as always, uh, but I'm in the Needles District of Canyonland National Park. This is my first trip to Canyonland National Park uh, and it's really interesting. It's a very, very large park that's not really that well connected by roads. So they divide the park into four districts. There is the Colorado River and Green River that run through the park and that's its own management unit, that's its own district. But it divides the park into three other units, land units basically. Um, so the most visited is the Island in the Sky, which is the northernmost one. Um, the district to the west is called the Maze, which requires four wheel drive. And I am in this kind of southeastern district called the Needles. Less visited than Island in the Sky. Island in the Sky is, is very accessible. It's really close to Moab and Arches. Uh, Needles has been interesting to get into, just in general. Um, it's You have to go down a, a two-lane highway for like over 30 miles. You go through Bears Ears National Monument. Gorgeous, but it takes a while to get here. Um, but this is where the good backpacking is, supposedly. <laughs> um, I don't really know what's going to happen on this trip. It was kind of an opportunistic trip. I was in the area. I saw campsites open, so I grabbed them. So I've got like the only two campsites that were open. Uh, but let me break out a map and show what the plan is for this trip. All right, so this is the camping area. As you can see, it says it's the Needles District up here. Uh, Moab is way to the north. Arches way to the north. Island in the Sky way to the north and around. Okay, so this is the backpacking area. You can see lots of interesting topography here. So the campsites I was able to snag are for tonight, uh, Lost Canyon 1, and for tomorrow, where is it? Chesler Peak 5 over here. So today should be really easy. I'm just coming down here uh, it's going to be less than three miles to Lost Canyon 1. Um, interesting to note, there is a ladder here. Tomorrow is the interesting day. Not only am I going through canyons, but I'm going over passes and into other canyons, over passes and into other canyons. So it's not that many miles tomorrow, but it should be very, very interesting. And then day three, uh, just kind of coming out and making it a loop like this, right back to the campground where I'm at. All right, this trailhead is right off of that one campground that's in the Needles District. It is very busy. A <laughs> whole bunch of trail runners and backpackers and day hikers coming out of this trailhead. I even got my permit checked in the parking lot before I even left. So heading on out, it's already looking pretty amazing and uh, pretty excited for this. It should be an adventure. It's not necessarily straightforward hiking. Uh, as I pointed out on the map, there's ladders involved, uh, a lot more scrambling, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I always turn my cell phone off too early. Okay, coming to a junction. This junction I am taking is going to be to the left, coming out, and I'm going to be coming back on this one. So, nice little loop again, heading towards Lost Canyon. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is really something. Again, the drive-in was pretty magnificent, too. That's the direction of the drive-in. Zoom in a little bit. Not, look at that. Okay. Just following the cairns. Look at this view. This is pretty amazing. So this trail will be a little bit more difficult to follow than most trails already. Um, there are some parts that look like trail, but a lot of it already has looked like this. So we're just walking over rock, following little piles of rock, but oh my gosh, I'm going to do a little pan. This is pretty fantastic. I'm going to start over here, slowly move this way. Look at all that red rock. And actually you can see their, their higher elevation, uh, mountains, the LaSalle mountains on the other side of Moab, right over there. And then actually, way over here, the very top of that rock in the distance, I think that's the island in the Sky District. So that's the north part of the park. While I'm listing off challenges here, um, more challenges include the weight of your pack. You have to pack in all of your water. I packed in eight liters, and I'm not even sure that's gonna be enough. Um, the ranger who checked my permit said there might be some water flowing in Lost Canyon. So, uh, 
me stop here for a second because I need to navigate this in Lost Canyon. Um, so I might be able to pick up some supplemental water there. So that's a lot of weight to carry. Also, this section requires a bear canister. My bear canister is three and a half pounds. So uh, you can't really ultralight this, especially if you're going for multiple days. So if you're, if you're hiking for four days, you're likely carrying four days worth of water. I just wanted to point that out. Another pan, because this is amazing. And I know I'm gonna be going through washes soon, so I won't have this big of a view. You can see the trail down there. It actually looks like a trail. Over here are the Cairns I have to follow to get to the trails. I didn't breathe a lot of hard because it is a lot of big steps climbing up on rocks. You know, no steps, no easy inclines. You gotta kind of find your way up and uh, connect these Cairns. Or, as I'm about to do, find my way down and connect the Cairns. So just coming down this rock here, down to that trail. I hit my first junction. It is for... Squaw Canyon, get a little closer so you can see the sign. Um, interesting thing is a lot of places that are named Squaw, like I didn't know it, but Squaw is actually a derogatory term for a, um, a female uh, Native American. So um, a lot of people are changing the names. On some of the newer maps, they say we have removed this name for the derogatory term, but like it's still named Squaw Canyon. So um, whatever. I'm not taking Squaw Canyon. I'm taking that first option, which is Lost Canyon. I will be passing by Squaw Canyon or the canyon that shall not be named <laughs> uh, tomorrow, um, passing by the edge of it. I've got to kind of go up and over the edges of several canyons tomorrow to get to my, my campsite. Oh, I've heard of this. I've heard of this so many times and never actually seen it. This is cryptobiotic soil. So it's kind of crusty and black. It's a whole community of living organisms in there. And why it's so important when you're hiking is because one footprint can kill it, like kill, kill it. Uh, the young crusts, maybe over here, maybe these are younger, um, don't really look super, super black, but like these, these have got to be really old. So one footprint can de absolutely destroy a hundred years of community building and life. So the nerd in me is actually really excited to see it, but I've also now got to pay a little bit more closer attention to where my feet are going because it's, it's all over here. There's a lot of it. Just had some day hikers warn me about this. You can see people up at the top there. That's where the trail goes. This is an up and over. I feel like this is a warm up for me because this is what a lot of tomorrow is going to be. It's these big up and overs. But the scenery is beautiful. All right, so following the Cairns. Oh, looking back, very, very humbling. Uh, climbing with my hands on my knees, crawling at times just to get up some of the steeper slopes. Very humbling with eight liters of water in a bear can. But oh my gosh, look at this. Here's the Cairn. And this is what I'm headed into next. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Start over here. Pan. Catch my breath. Wow. Actually, this is what I'm headed into next. I don't know if you can see on the video, um, but you basically traverse this edge. It looks like, you can see there's a couple day hikers down there. Looks like eventually it's gonna lead down into this depression. And then at some point I'm going to be turning right up one of these uh, these canyons, they're called Lost Canyon. <laughs> pretty cool though. Very challenging, but pretty cool. All right, here it is. Here it is. My first ladder. First of a couple, it sounds like. That is not, not that bad, that's not that far. Okay. Um, oh yeah, looks like I follow this bench too after that. Uh, we'll see if there's more ladders or if there's a nice easy way kind of down into this canyon area. But should be getting a lot more ladders on this trip in the next couple days. 
down in it now. Um, there was not a second ladder, but I did have to take my pack off and to send it first down on one of those descents. Uh, once my pack was off, it was pretty easy, but uh, one of those things you had to sit down for. Not a lot of room on your back. Anyway, should be getting kind of kind of approaching my campsite a little bit. It's a little bit further down this canyon, but not much is left for today. It's not that far, and it's already been pretty eventful. And Obviously, absolutely gorgeous. I see a junction sign. That can only mean that this, yeah, this is Lost Canyon. Right here. This little sandy path. Beautiful. Look at this. You got some fall colors here, too. Very beautiful. Um, but I did clarify with the backcountry station, Lost Canyon 1 is not actually on Lost Canyon. It's about 50 feet, he said past the junction because that makes sense um the campsites i did pick were um the only ones available and my campsite for tomorrow was only available tomorrow this one was available a couple more days so this is the campsite nobody likes so we'll see what it looks like i'll turn this back on when i find it found it found it okay so Let's see what this looks like. It looked like it was in a different location on pretty much every map I looked at. A lot of them had it looking like it was actually off of the other trail, which makes sense because it's the Lost Canyon Trail. The Gaia GPS app, if you have that, the Gaia layer actually has the correct position with the, the little trail coming into it and everything. Okay, it looks like this is it over here nice and shaded at least maybe it's like that's a camp spot okay there's a post over there all right so this is the campground i'll figure out the best place to pitch my tent maybe here it's nice and flat but not bad again nice and shaded it is really hot it's october and it's mild for this this area but it's really hot but also we got some fall colors here so nice fall colors some canyon rocks all good okay got my tent all set up right here um those little posts mark the camp boundary so you just set up anywhere within the camp boundary tomorrow is the exciting day tomorrow is gonna be going in and out so down and then up and over and then back down into canyons um and when i'm not doing that it's going to be those slick rock traverses but it's going to be all day uh it can go either two ways it's either going to be awful or epic but there's no way of telling until it actually happens tomorrow <laughs> 